হ্যালো এব্রোয়ান আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু মাই চ্যানেল চলে আসলাম আজকে আরেকটি ভিডিও নিয়ে আজকে আমরা গিয়েছিলাম হুমায়ুন ভাইয়ের ছেলের বিয়ে খেতে হুমায়ুন ভাই হচ্ছে মোরাদের ফ্রেন্ড ওখানে আজকে আমরা বিয়ে খেতে গিয়েছিলাম জিয়ান আর সালমার বিয়ে আমরা সবাই এসে বসছি যেহেতু বাহিরে বিয়েটা হবে রেস্টুরেন্টের ভিতরে সুন্দর একটা ভেনুতে গেস্টরা সব চলে আসছে এবং আসতেছে আমরাও এসে বসলাম এখানে এসে সম্পর্ক ভাবের সাথে দেখা হয়ে গেল আমার ছেলের সাথে মামুন ভাইয়ের কথা হচ্ছে আমরাও সবাই কুশল বিনিময় করছিলাম আমরা আসছি দা ইন নিউ হাইট পার্ক পার্টি হল পার্টি হলটা অনেক বড় এবং ভিতরে বাহিরে অনেক সুন্দর গুছানো সিমসাম আমার খুব পছন্দ হয়েছে পার্টি হলটা যাই হোক অনুষ্ঠান এই হচ্ছে হুমায়ুন ভাই আর ভাবি এদিক দিয়ে হুমায়ুন ভাই আর ভাবি বউর জন্য ওয়েট করছে বউ আসার জন্য কারণ ওনাদের স্টেজে উঠাবে বউ আর কি কবুল করাবে এখানে একদম সামনাসামনি সব হচ্ছে আগের থেকে কোনো কিছু করা হয় নাই সেজন্য এখানে একদম ডাইরেক্ট বিয়েটা হবে সেটাই আমরা উপভোগ করব আজকে সবাই মিলে স্টেজে যাওয়ার জন্য প্রিপারেশন নেওয়া হচ্ছে গাউনটাকে সুন্দর করে বোর মা ঠিক করে দিচ্ছে সালমাকে নিয়ে আসছে ওর মা বাবা সুন্দর লাগছে একদম পরিমত লাগছে বউটাকে আর হুমায়ুন ভাই ছেলেকে নিয়ে স্টেজের সামনে এগিয়ে আসছে কিছুক্ষণের মধ্যে বিয়েটা হয়ে যাবে
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created between the husband and the wife mawadda, hub, rahmah, mercy, compassion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who put this beautiful feeling in their heart. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Though anfaqta ma fil ardi jami'an, ma allafta bayna qulubihim. Ma allafta bayna qulubihim. If you spend all the resources in this uh, earth to make them love each other, you will not be able to do that. But indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He put this love and the compassion in their heart. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged the young people and he said, Ya ma'ashar al-shabab, man istata'a minkum al-ba'at al-khaliyatazawwa. Encouraging the young people to get married when they can afford it. Why? Because he said, فَإِنَّهُمْ لَوْ رِجَاء The wise is protection for both men and women and also to continue the human being race also that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will distillate marriage and to start the beautiful life. And uh, we make this dua before we start, inshallah, the ceremony. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, رَبَّنَا هَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنْ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَا إِمَانًا with this word, inshallah, we're going to start with the ceremony uh, between, inshallah, uh, Zain and the father of Selma. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-Mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Okay, Zain, your hand, yeah, Zain, your right hand, with his right hand, and you couldn't put, this is an Egyptian tradition, by the way, it's like you could put that, mandil, huh? It's hot, so we can cool down your hand. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Naam? You see the nail below? Okay. So, inshallah, I will ask Ustaz Hamdi to say a few words in Arabic. That's part of the contract. And before that, I will ask Salma, Salma, you listen Baba, كتاب الله وسنة نبيه محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى الله المسمى بيننا والحاضرون يشهدون على ذلك والله خير الشاهدين زين يبنى هدف الأرض ذلك يبنى الأرض إن شاء الله to say Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala Rasulullah. We say, Qadiltu, al-Jawaj, min ikmatika, salma, ala, kitabillah, wa sinnati, nabiyyihi, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ala, al-Bahr, al-Musanna, بيننا والحاضرون يشهدون على ذلك والله خير الشاهدين وصلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. It is my honor to be here this afternoon to be a part of this auspicious gathering. You know, marriage in Islam is such a beautiful thing that it's not just a ceremony in our faith. It's good. It's not just a ceremony in Islam, but it's more than just a ceremony, but it's the combination and gathering of two individuals for the rest of their lives. 
I want to share one small analogy. I know it's hot and we want to get inside. The Quran, the holy book, so beautifully defines the roles and responsibility of what a husband and wife is in Islam. The Quran says the example of a husband and wife is like libas, like clothing, like garment for one another. And for those who may have heard this for the first time, I'll share four quick things for the room and the bride for all of us to take back. Why is husband and wife known as garment for one another? Number one, Zayn for the bride to be, what's the closest thing to all of us sitting here? The closest thing to every one of us sitting here, it's the clothing that's touching our bodies. It's the libas, it's the garment. And that's why the Quran says your garment for one another. Number two, you look awesome, right? Your clothing beautifies you, it graces you, it enhances you. And that's why the husband and wife are known as garment for one another. You know, it's hot, it's cold, it's raining, it's shining. Your clothing protects you. And that's what spouses do for one another. They protect one another. And last but not least, someone may have a scar on their body, but no one knows. Your clothing covers you, it conceals you, it protects you, and that's why the Holy Book mentions you are garment for one another. So four major things that defines a husband and wife. Closest in relationship, as your clothing is closest to your body. Number two, it beautifies you, it enhances you, as spouses do for one another. Number three, it protects you from all conditions around you, and that's what spouses do for one another. And it also conceals you as the clothing does. And that's what spouses does for one another. So we ask the Almighty to bless both of them with love and affection and tranquility. Amen. Make today Amen. and every day to come in their life a time full of barakah and blessings and goodness in their life. to receive the sakina, the peace, the tranquility. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَهُمْ مَوَدَّةً And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created between Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam. Rahman rahim in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. It is my honor to be here this afternoon to be a part of this auspicious gathering. Uh, you know, marriage in Islam is such a beautiful thing that it's not just a ceremony in our faith. It's good. It's not just a ceremony in Islam, but it's more than just a ceremony, but it's the combination and gathering of two individuals for the rest of their lives. I want to share one small analogy. I know it's hot and we want to get inside. The Quran, the holy book, so beautifully defines the roles and responsibility of what a husband and wife is in Islam. The Quran says the example of a husband and wife is like libas, like clothing, like garment for one another. And for those who may have heard this for the first time, I'll share four quick things for the room and the bride for all of us to take back. Why is husband and wife known as garment for one another? Number one, Zayn for the bride to be, what's the closest thing to all of us sitting here? The closest thing to every one of us sitting here, it's the clothing that's touching our bodies. It's the libas, it's the garment. And that's why the Quran says your garment for one another. Number two, you look awesome, right? Your clothing beautifies you, it graces you, it enhances you. And that's why the husband and wife are known as garment for one another. You know, it's hot, it's cold, it's raining, it's shining. Your clothing protects you. And that's what spouses do for one another. They protect one another. And last but not least, someone may have a scar on their body, but no one knows. Your clothing covers you. It conceals you. It protects you. And that's why the Holy Book mentions you are garment for one another. So four major things that defines a husband and wife. Closest in relationship, as your clothing is closest to your body. Number two, it beautifies you, it enhances you, as spouses do for one another. Number three, it protects you from all conditions around you, 
and that's what spouses do for one another. And it also conceals you as the clothing does, and that's what spouses does for one another. So we ask the Almighty to bless both of them with love and affection and tranquility. Amen. Make today Amen. and every day to come in their life a time full of barakah and blessings and goodness in their life. عن الزواج ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم موتة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتكثرون ويقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الزواج من سنتي فمن رضي عن سنتي فليس مني صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الله سبحانه وتعالى when he spoke about marriage in Islam he said الزواج آية من آيات الله one of the signs of Allah سبحانه وتعالى in this universe is الزواج ومن آياته لهما وبارك عليهما واجمع بينهما في الخير لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أمنا بالنور وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين وحمد لله وحمد
عن الزواج ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقوم يتكثرون ويقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الزواج من سنتي فمن رضي عن سنتي فليس مني صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم آه الله سبحانه وتعالى When he spoke about marriage in Islam, he said, Al-Zawaj, ayah min ayatullah. One of the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this universe is Al-Zawaj, wa min ayatihi. Thumma, we do a tabi'un, 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 we do a t
Applause and make some noise and welcome the newlywed. I can't say anything really that is the day, the best day in my life. 
And when I have my daughter, I was the best day in my life. God gave it to me here. And now I give the gift to the end. And I hope he brought me to care about him. And he brought the whole of him. And thank you very much. I, I really appreciate it. And I, I can say thank you.
One day he went to school in the morning. He said, Are you? He said he had an early school, early class. I feel that he was lying. Once he went to school, I was on my mind behind him. Let's see what he's doing. I was in December, crazy cold. He went to the school yard. He put his jacket on that pill. No jackets, no only t-shirt. He was playing on that school field. So he was that that kind of student. And I used to no, what's I don't know what's about this from his teacher. So Alhamdulillah, once he started high school, he became very good kid. I proud of him and I am proud to be of his father.
অনেক সুন্দর হলো অনুষ্ঠানটা আমরা সবাই খুব এনজয় করলাম আর সবার সাথে দেখা হলো হুমায়ুন ভাই ভাবিকে থ্যাংক ইউ এত সুন্দর একটা আয়োজন করার জন্য আর আমাদেরকে ইনভাইট করার জন্য আর জিয়ান আর সালমাকে শুভকামনা যাদের ওদের সুন্দর ভবিষ্যৎ সেই দোয়াই করি আজ এ পর্যন্ত সবাই ভালো থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন আর ওদের জন্য দোয়া করবেন আজ এ পর্যন্ত আল্লাহ হাফেজ